Hello everyone, this is a video on how to make an in-text A4 landscape border. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make a landscape border from 0, 0 down here and we can use this to overlay any drawings that don't need to be scaled. So I'll start by drawing a rectangle using the rec command and I know the coordinates 297, 210 to form the outer page of my border. Now I'm going to use the explode tool here, which is either explode or the E up here and split these into four individual lines. And I'm just going to put a border of 20 from the left hand side, 10 from the top, 10 from the right hand side and 10 from the bottom. I'm just going to trim out these and I have my base my page, my border, all in situ quite nicely. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a title block down the, down the base. So I'm going to offset this line by 50 mil. Like so. Uh, in that zone, I'm going to half it. 25 so I have got two zones to sort of play with if, if, if I need to now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these into four so what I'm going to do is just measure across so two six seven so I know that I'm going to split this into four so I know I'm going to be basically running a um, box every 66 so I'm just going to offset 66 One, two, three. So I've got like a little box down here as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill each box with a um, subscript and a text height. So I'm going to start off by drawing on top. I'm going to use the 2.5 as a scale on zero. I can keep it in caps locks to keep it all nice and neat. So it's up with name. Uh, 2.5 zero title I'm then going to change this box and probably have um, a couple of sort of sub zones so I'm going to put another offset in uh, top of 5 I'm going to put single line text in here on the top make sure in the middle of snap point date and then I'm probably going to put my Lego in the base um, of this unit but again it's a very basic text box um, style border so now I have those ones what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these and move all of mine together from a set coordinates I'm going to go from 0 comma 0 okay and I'm going to bring these guys down so I'm going to bring them down minus um, actually I'm going to bring them across Two, two mil from the right or from the left hand edge and I'm going to bring these guys down I would say probably minus four a nice kind of zone so what I'm going to then do is I'm going to leave a couple of boxes which I can do over bits and pieces. So I'm going to put a logo in this one, so I'm going to trim out that one. That's going to be my logo zone. And I've got two other boxes I could then sort of use. So you might want to put um, approval or you can then put, you know, some, some sort of customer details. Um, so I'm actually, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to copy, because I need another, obviously, name and a title to keep it... I'm going to choose a base point of one I've already got. I'm going to move these down. So this is a second way that you can do to keep it within theme. So I'm just going to put approval. So APPD. And the last one is I'm just going to put um, probably DWG number. I'll just put drawing number like so now I'm going to switch to multi-line text and I'm going to put, put my text box 
within the zone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to justify this by middle centre. And do that for each box. Justification, middle centre. Using the space bar to reload the previous command. So justification, mid centre, tick. Okay, justification, mid centre, tick. And the last one. Justification, mid center, tick. And the last one, scale. So, one, what you can do is now you've got your columns built, is you could then actually come down and, and start to type some of this text in. Okay, so now we've got our headers in, it's time to put the single line, multi-line text in. So again, I'm going to draw over it. Um, I'm going to put a middle justification. And I'm just going to put some crosses in at the, center and the second and tick that off. Now what I'm going to do is copy this, choose the base from the top, and then populate that in the follow boxes. Like... So, so we're giving about having all boxes the same. Now what I can do is I can trim out everything I don't need. So I don't need any of that. I don't need any of this. And now I can just delete that line. So now I want to attach my logo. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my logo. So I'm just going to do it attach. I'm going to bring in my logo. I'm sort of going to pop it a little bit above um, and just put it into one scale. It's going to slightly be too big. What I can do is I can use the image frame to adjust it accordingly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this from the centre so you can see the green up circle. And I'm going to find the centre of my... Rectangle here, and I won't make it slightly too big. Um, so, what I'm going to do is just resize it that a little bit more. Probably size of 10 on this map. Uh, what I'm actually going to do quickly is just draw a box around so I can pick up the center. Again, now I'm going to move, click on the object, find the center, find the center and then click it in place and I get my whole image there nicely lined up. So that's just a really quick way on how you can make a template and then obviously what you can do is come in you can edit then your boxes um, for whatever way that you want. If you want to save it as a proper template you can move it to a, um, a actual paper, paper space which again I've got videos linked below which you guys can check out or you can actually then just plot um, and print directly from this area as well. Excellent, thanks for watching.